Hello there everyone, this is Reese, or Brushyad Cub. As you can see, we're in the middle of a, a terrible downpour that's been going on on the server for quite a while now. I've never seen it rain this much before. But uh, we're back at our mining operation. I've kind of turned it off for now. You'll see a torch down there. Uh, I had it and I realized I didn't need it. And because I like to start each episode with a clean inventory, I just tossed it down there. And I should probably go get it, but I'm not going to. Uh, I turned it all off and did some upgrades. Uh, as you can see, I added another, um, what is this, engine, another steam engine and uh, moved the pipes underground. They now pump all the way back to the house. And this is a golden transport pipe. Let me actually show that to you. If I can spell golden correctly. There it is. And it's just two pieces of gold and one piece of glass creates eight of these. So I made eight of those and when you put a redstone torch next to them, they get powered and anything that passes through them goes super fast. So there's a series of these running underground and just goes all the way back to the house. And we're gonna go ahead and power this thing up so I can show it to you guys. And uh, there's one more down there that has to power the, uh, the bottom one. So let me get down there and activate it. And uh, I think, now I think I'm stuck down here. I think I lost a piece of dirt too. Ugh, that's gonna bother me. I've got to get a piece, piece of replacement dirt. But look at that! So it's pumping all this stuff up. It's gonna go through the transport pipe, or the uh, not the transport pipe. They're all transport pipes. But it's gonna go through the golden pipe and speed up. And watch it just zoom out of here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom! There it goes, shooting down the pipe. Boom! So let's go back home, and I will show you guys where this stuff is going. And the gold, the gold transport pipes, after an item passes through them, they do slow down after they've gone a certain distance. So I have about four or five of them running underground. And uh, I, I've made a special room down in the basement just for the stuff that we're collecting. There's a gold chest down there. Everything's getting sucked up into it. And it looks pretty cool. So let's get downstairs, and I'll show it to you. Uh, so right around here through this room. Uh, disregard that. That's for a tunneling network we're going to be doing soon. But everything just blasts through the pipes. And let's see if we can see something actually come through. Is there anything coming at all? We got some stuff in here, but where's the stuff that should be coming through the pipes? Uh-oh. Hope we don't have any issues. Oh, no. You think we might have a pipe leak? Uh-oh. It's a possibility. Better go check. Better go make sure. Let's see. This should be all we need. Just break a hole here in the wall. Oops. Ah, I forgot about that. We're gonna have to dig. Oh, no, look. There's the stuff. There it comes. Yeah, there we go. Now I have to fix all this. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's everything's coming in, and it's it's running pretty smoothly, I'd have to say. And I'm quite impressed with the uh, the mining operations we got going right now. Just repair all of this. There we go, just like new. Now there is one thing. Look at that, we got some coal. There's one thing that we need to do to keep this thing running. You'll notice I had it turned off, and that's because it doesn't run when I, when I get off the server because the chunk deloads and nothing happens. So we're gonna build a world anchor and throw it up out there so that that will always be running at all times. Now world anchors used to be really expensive, but they've added some new ones to the game. I've only got one gold block, so I'm going to go smelt down some more gold. I actually think there's some upstairs in the macerator. Yeah. They're now much easier to make. Uh, there's two different kinds, so let's show the kind that normally shows up. If you look at World Anchor, this is what you get. It's pretty expensive. You know, you got obsidian, diamond, gold, but now there's a much easier way to make them. And uh, they're not the same though, they're a little bit different, and I actually like the new ones a little bit better. And I'll show you why as soon as we've got enough gold to actually go do this. And, uh, hold on. Actually, you know what? If this dust is worth the same as the, uh... Yeah, dust is worth the same as the ingots, we might as well just swap the two out, huh? That makes sense. Load up the Kleinstar. Kleinstar's now full some gold that should actually be plenty of gold uh, there's still some stuff loaded on the Klein star though let's just go ahead and get some diamonds <laughs> and um, put that up now we've got right here a block of iron which if you've ever made a block of iron all it is is nine blocks of iron filling up a crafting square creates a block of iron we're gonna put that there with four gold around it and that gives us a dimensional anchor so we're gonna pull that out I'm going to plump that down outside, and it's got this really cool interface, and I wish it stopped raining, but I don't think we have that option. Well, actually, I guess we could invoke op 
abilities and just stop the rain, but I would feel bad. Because that's not really in the tech nature of things now, is it? Monsters are going to start spawning, though. And I did build a little safety fence around the, uh, around the area to keep us safe, but I don't know how much good that's going to do us. So let's just throw this thing down right here, and we can right-click it. Owner's brush yet, Cub. Your chunk unit is one area one by one. Only option owners can see this. So now it is now keeping an area one by one chunk. So basically just one chunk active at all times. So if we left here, the chunk that this block is sitting on would keep going even if I'm off the server. Even if no one is on the server, it'll keep going. We can expand it though by clicking this button. So we get three by three area, five by five area. Now how big is this really? If you want to see how big this is, and this is so cool. Hit F9. Or not F. Yeah, F9. And it'll actually show you what areas are selected within your uh, your 9x9. Nine nine. Did I pick 9x9? Nine nine? No, 3x3 three three chunk area. So this is what 3x3 three three chunks look like. All of this area within inside, inside of this uh, inside of the 3x3 three three radius are, is now active at all times. So we don't think we actually need it that big, do we? Let's see if we can shrink it down. What does 1x1 one one look like? Is this one chunk? It actually looks the same size, doesn't it? I'm a little bit confused. Maybe if we just toggle. Let's go back and toggle and see what happens. Off. Refresh. Turn it back on. There we go. Much better representation. So that's fine. That one chunk is, is, now, is now keeping our activity over here going. We're going to go build another one of these inside the house. And so that way... Uh, we'll we'll have just this thing constantly going and the stuff downstairs constantly filling up Alrighty guys, so we got another one set up downstairs here And this will keep our mining operations and actually it'll keep everything running back at the house So if I put stuff in the macerator or in the uh, electric furnace and I log off It'll keep going all the trees will continue to grow. I won't have to be on here to get the wheat growing It's gonna be great. This is just gonna be absolutely fantastic. We won't have to do any upkeep I don't have to because but before I used to just leave my guy logged in if I wanted something like the wheat to grow, or I wanted the trees to grow, but we don't have to worry about that anymore. Now we have like a, a second, a second brushyet cub. We've got a second and a third brushyet cub, mini cubs. We've got two mini cubs who just sit around and uh, and watch stuff happen while we're not here to watch it. And uh, look at that, look at that guy chilling out by my pipes. And we're actually too far away to see items passing items passing through the pipes, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's still going. I hope it's still going. We should probably go check just to make sure. Yeah, stuff's still flowing. So we're good. So thank you guys for tuning in. That's how World Anchors work. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And one more thing before we go. As you see, we're, we're so far in the game that I could create armor out of basically anything. And I just created it out of leather. Because I figured, you know what? It's about time we armor up. And we got cows, so let's make some leather armor. But, uh, but that's it. And uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.